What's up everybody? So in this video we are going to take a look at the template hierarchy inside of WordPress. Uh, as we discussed earlier, index sort of acts as the fallback for just about everything if it can't find a different file. So it's going to look through uh, from the, the left side to the right and if it can't find the one specifically for the type of page it's looking for, it'll default to index. Now, as you can see, we've already created a home.php, uh, and that's for our home page. That's also the, regardless of whether it's your front page or not, um, so it might not be the home page of your website, home.php always acts as the blog page. So whenever you create a blog, you should name it home.php. Since ours happen to be the home page of our website and the home page of our blog, uh, that could be a little bit confusing. But let's say we didn't want it to be the home page of our website, uh, then we would use frontpage.php. Uh, so if we had a static front page and then there was a sub page that was the blog, that's how that would work. Um, another page that we're going to create today is the page.php. And what the page does is it creates a page for all of your WordPress created pages. Um, so if that's a little bit confusing, we're going to get into it a little bit more. Uh, you might be wondering, well, we just created an index.php. Why don't we just use that? We want to keep the index for a fallback in case any of these other scenarios are not found, which fall on a different branch of the hierarchy. So the page.php is going to be a little bit more tailored to the design of the site uh, and be usable for any new pages that somebody who is taking over as admin of the site could easily create and customize. So the page we're going to create is the about page. Obviously right now it is defaulting to that index page and there's no content and there's nothing to see. You can also see because we don't have a banner that you can't even see our navigation or our logo and this is just really obviously uh, only meant to be used as a fallback for anything that we did not account for in our template. So let's go ahead and go to our code. And in our code, we are gonna to go to our directory and click create new file. And we are going to call it page.php. Now inside of here is where we're gonna go back to our original downloaded files and look at the about page. So we'll go ahead and open this and you can see we have another separate background image and we have another title and a little bit of subtext. Uh, so let's go ahead and start devising a plan for how we can execute pages like this. Okay, and so now that we've opened our about page, you can notice a few things right off the top is that this is a separate different title. Uh, and again, we're gonna go back at the very end and kind of polish up all these little elements but that's obviously something that's different that's going to be using the header file so we have to come up with a plan to kind of manage that and we'll get into that a little bit later um, as you can see the navigation's all the same so we're good there uh, but right here is where we need to grab all of this code all the way down to um, just before the HR tag and copy that and then that's what we're gonna put into this page Okay, now what we're gonna do here is we are going to use the WordPress loop right above the header. And it's the same exact one we've used a couple times already before. So I'm just gonna paste it in. And then we are going to close it out down here. And we'll create a another p tag, and just say sorry, page not found. And then we're going to go ahead and close that out. All right. So this is how this page is going to work. Is that first off, you'll notice that we have another image, and for now. What we're going to do is the exact same thing that we did before with the PHP tag and echoing get template directory URI. 
and then adding our forward slash before the image. Now, we're gonna come up with a different, better strategy for handling this. But from here, we are going to add our PHP, the title. And here we don't really have a built-in solution inside of WordPress to handle this. So again, we need another solution for a little bit of subtext. Uh, so right now we're gonna kinda hold off on that too. Um, next is where we will delete all of our P tags. And we will put the content. So now why did I delete all the P tags and not put it in a P tag? Uh, if you remember, I did do that on the index page. And the reason I do it in the index page is because um, you don't know if the content is actually going to be coming from the WYSIWYG of a page creator. So what could happen potentially is that it would have no P tag and it would just have no styling. Uh, for this, we wanted to make sure that um, we did not include it because we don't want to nest P tags for no reason. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. And then now we will go back to our web page and we'll go back to our clean blog and hit refresh. Okay, so that's a little bit closer, but obviously we forgot a very important detail. We did not include our headers and footers. So need to go ahead and do that at the top. Okay, so now that we've included our header and footer files, Let's go back to our page and hit refresh, and there we go. So you're not seeing any content, so let's go back to our admin and go to pages, and then go to about, and let's just paste a couple of lines of lorem ipsum, and hit update. Now let's go back to our clean blog page and hit refresh and there's our text. So everything looks right. As always, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you have a question, please leave a comment. And if you want to see more of my videos, please hit subscribe.